Colorado High School Activities Association softball is on 1010 KSIR, KSIR.com, and the Eastern Plains Sports Network this afternoon. Just off the campus of University High School in Greeley, it's a rematch of the 2019 3A State Championship as the Brush Bee Diggers take on the University Bulldogs. I'm John Beltran along with Evan James. And Evan, when we got here, it felt like it was 100 degrees and the sun was out. But things have changed here in terms of the uh, the sun. It, it feels really nice. Sun's kind of gone away. And, uh, you know, it's actually feeling a lot cooler, which is really nice. Oh, so much better right now. Starting lineup brought to you by Western Engineering Consultants. Engineering and consulting services for all of your projects. Strong commitment to their clients' needs. Sets them apart. Get your project started the right way. Western Engineering Consultants. Now, the Bee Diggers graduated... A lot of their starters, University from that state championship team only graduated one. So the Bee Diggers will have their work cut out for them. Batting first is the center fielder, Brooke Rule. The third baseman, Alexis Corral, hits second. Grace Georgiou, the catcher, bats third. The second baseman's the cleanup hitter, Annalise Glosson. Left fielder, Natalie Poss, hits fifth. Braylon Rule, the pitcher, hits sixth. The right fielder, Olivia Odell, bats seventh. Riley Lake, the shortstop, hits eighth. And first baseman, Kylie Abreu, will be batting ninth. Ashland Knapp at first base. The second baseman for University is Kaylee Kern. Kendry Kern at third. Delaney Weinecke at short. Caitlin Bach is in left. Caden White in center. Alexis Sanchez in right. Andy Padilla behind the plate. And Kayla Kingsley delivering the first pitch brought to you by B&B Appliance and Repair. From refrigerators to vacuums. And that is a strike down the middle. Bell tie and everything in between. They have exactly what you need and service it to B&B Appliance. The Bee Diggers picked up just two hits after a nice barrage against Platte Valley, only two against Eaton. Swung on and grounded left side. The shortstop to her right fires to first. Delaney Weinecke retires. Brooke roll on the second pitch of the game, but again, Brooke gets down that line. She has a lot of speed on her, and, well, that'll play a key role in giving the Bee Diggers a good, good leadoff hitter. Well, you know, an extra hop she would have beat it out, but mm-hmm. the ball was hit well. Here is Alexis Corral. She was not retired in that first game against Platte Valley when the B-Diggers won 17-1 before their 16-run loss. And the changeup is a strike. Nice change of pace there. Corral hitting out of the two spot. Solid senior third baseman for Brush. Wearing those gold uniforms and the black pants of the 0-1. Swung on and fouled. Boy, nice mix of that fastball and that changeup. Really pulled the string there on Alexis Corral. We'll have some live look-ins coming up a little bit later on on our 1010 KSIR Sports Facebook page. Just brief live look-ins so you can check out the atmosphere here in Greeley. No balls and two strikes. Corral from the right side. Takes it in the dirt. Ball one. Strike two. Grace Georgiou in the championship game a year ago. Homered against University. And that 8-4 loss, swing and a miss on the outside corner, blew that riser right by her, and there's two down. Grace Georgiou. Now the hitter. I think she looked back at the pronunciation of her name. I kind of messed that up the first game, and now I have it down. With two down and the bases empty in the first inning. Kingsley delivers, and that, did a clippery out. Oh, it got her on the left leg. And right around close to that ankle, she's limping up the first baseline. Well, you know what? University knows that they're not going to let Georgiou even take a big swing. And with two outs and the bases empty, I think she wanted to come inside, obviously not to hit her. Here is Annalise Glosson, the lone left-handed hitter for the B-Diggers in this lineup. She was hitting out of the two-hole, but now has been moved down to the four-hole. And the pitch swung on, grounded to third on one big hop, the easy play, and the throw to first. And she is retired, making the play was Kendry Kern. Well, the bee diggers made contact twice, very solidly, but nothing to show for it. They leave a runner at first base. We head to the bottom of the first inning. Brush does not score. 
and the defending state champion University Bulldogs are coming to bat on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Well, during baseball season, it's Kevin and Evan, but now it's James and John Yep. as we head to the bottom of the first inning. The B-Diggers did not score in the top of the first. Let's get to the lineup here for the University Bulldogs. Batting first is the center fielder, Caden Wyatt. The second hitter is the left fielder, Caitlin Baca. Catcher Andy Padilla hits third. The cleanup hitter is Delaney Weineke, the shortstop. She homered in the championship game a year ago. Second baseman, Kaylee Kern, hits fifth. The right fielder, Alexis Sanchez, bats sixth. Kendry Kern, the third baseman, hits seventh. First baseman, Ashlyn Knapp, hits eighth. And Kayla Kingsley will be hitting ninth. The B-Diggers defensively have Kylie Abreu at first. The second baseman is Annalise Glosson. Alexis Corral at third. Riley Lake is the shortstop. Around the outfield, Natalie Paulson left. Brooke Rule in center. Oh, we do have, is that Aaliyah Carrera out there? Uh, swung on and grounded is short. And Lake's got it. Throw to first. It's going to be late. It'll be an infield hit. Yeah, that is Carrera out there. That's okay. That is the second baseman. So Annalise is just in on the offensive end. But anyway, Poss, Rule, and Olivia Odo left, center, and right. Grace George, you behind the plate, and Braylon Rule on the mound. And that's an infield hit. Lake fielded that cleanly. And a good throw, but talk about speed. Caden Wyatt got down the line, and now Braylon Rule's got to face the lefty and Caitlin Baca. University at 1-0. They shut out Resurrection Christian 12 to nothing. And Resurrection Christian is the team the B-Diggers will face on Thursday in Brush. That'll be at 4 o'clock right here on 10-10. The B-Diggers need some solid defense to stay in this game. And the pitch is in the dirt. One ball and no strikes. It looked like Baca wanted to take what they do in softball, especially with a lefty, that running swing. Which you can do as long as you're not completely out of the box. One ball and no strikes. George Juice setting up towards the outside corner now. Angles towards the inside, the offering. And that's upstairs. Throw back to first and back in diving. For University is Caden Wyatt. 2-0. and oh. here to the number two hitter, Caitlin Baca. Now it's overcast, but no threat of rain. And that one is bunted right back to the mound. Rule has it. Throw to first is in time. And I'm not sure we call that a sacrifice. I think she was bunting for a hit. We'll just go straight one to three there. Runner does advance to second, and there's one down for the number three hitter, Andy Padilla. Yeah, this team is loaded. They had a bunch of juniors from one year ago when they won the state championship, so the B-Diggers know that the task is tall today. But if they play solid defensively, we know if they would have played a lot cleaner against Eaton, they probably would have lost that game, but not by the margin they did. Pitches outside and low, one ball and no strikes. And you know, John, like we've been saying um, with, with softball and with any sport, beginning of the year, mistakes count up. Yeah. And the difference is in 2020, the beginning of the year is closer to the end of the season because there's only a 16-game schedule. Exactly. And the 1-0 pitch, and that is up and in. Two balls and no strikes. Crystal clear ice, good for any drink any time of year. AC ice. You can pick it up at any local grocery or convenience store in Northeast Colorado today, also known as Colorado. Two balls and no strikes. Thank goodness the sun has disappeared. We have a breeze. Again, we'll have a Facebook Live segment, a live look in briefly during the second inning. And a little bit later on as well, way outside. And this is very dangerous because Delaney Weinecke is a major talent. She's on deck. She homered in the state title game last year in Aurora. 3-0 and to the number three hitter, Padilla, with a runner at second. Braylon Rule, the sophomore, delivers right there for a strike at the knees. Down the middle, it's 3-1. and one. B-Diggers do not play on Saturday since it's the Labor Day holiday, so to speak, on Monday. But they do play Thursday, as I mentioned, 3-1. and one. Here in the bottom of the first inning. And the offering. Swing and a miss. Boy, what a change up there. Baca... Check that. Padilla was way out in front. Three and two to Andy Padilla. And now you're getting a significant breeze here. 
Let's see if Braylon can deliver this one. Swung on and grounded up the middle for a base hit into right center field. Rounding third and scoring is Wyatt, and the throw goes all the way through. I'm not sure why that happened because the hitter advances to second. There was no way they were going to get her. The ball was not hit sharply, but it was hit in the right spot. And those are little things the Bee Diggers cannot do if they want to keep this university team at bay. It's an RBI single for Padilla, again, who's at second base. Here is Delaney Weineke. And did we get a lightning delay? We wow. sure did. Well, okay. We'll a lightning delay here. We do, yep. I didn't even see where that came from, but apparently we are just barely, not even an inning into the game. University's got a one nothing lead. This should be, I'm guessing, what, do they got to wait at least 20 minutes? Yeah, at least 20. James and John back at... University High School in Greeley, bottom of the first inning. We're about to resume play. University will have a runner at second with one out. And it's one to nothing in favor of the Bulldogs. On the base hit from Andy Padilla, Kaylee Kingsley. The university pitcher is warming up right now along the first base side, but it's the bead diggers who are on the field. So, so far, Evan, this is our third game of the season. And our second weather delay. Yeah. It's uh, it's not boding well for us so far. Okay. We have to hope that the final 13 games of the regular season go a little bit smoother. I told my wife that I'd be home by 630. That would be 630 central time. It's not going to be mountain time. There's no way. No way. No way. I mean, now we're shooting for 730. 730. Now, officially, our delay is at 36 minutes. 36-minute delay. And the skies have cleared. Starting to get that sun back. Yeah. No, it's definitely coming back. However, it's cooled off a bit. We had a breeze. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I've been through weather delays before. I think that one caught you and me completely off guard. Yeah, I did. I said, what are they doing? Yeah. What's? It's perfectly nice on the field. There was no threat around us. But again, it had to be within a certain distance. Yeah. And once that lightning struck, that changed the game altogether. Even though we don't know where it came from, but we know that everything is safe now. The Bee Diggers will take the field in the bottom of the first inning. I forgot to, to ask you, how are you doing so far? I'm doing all right. All right, all right, all right yeah, just, just making sure. I mean, <laughs> what about you, John? Uh, we'll find out here with the rest of the, the rest of the game. But at the John Deere Equipment, a 21st century equipment for your operation is 21st century equipment in Sterling and Fort Morgan. That's 21st century equipment. So the runner's at second, and I don't believe we have a recorded pitch to this batter, Delaney Weinicke. But she did homer last year in the 8-4 to four state championship victory by the Bulldogs over the Bee Diggers, Delaney Weinicke. Stepping in against the sophomore right-hander, Braylon Rule. I mean, quite frankly, even though Brush was in the state title game a year ago, they know this would be a monumental win, uh, an upset, if they can pull this off, only because of university's experience. Because Brush beat them twice last year, including a 19-4 to destruction here. Swung on line, that's a base into the center field. Brooke Rule will come up. Oh, she dropped the ball. And now rounding third and scoring is Padilla. She might have had a chance if she came up with that cleanly. No error. It's a base hit, an RBI single on the first pitch to Delaney Wenicke. And University now leads by a score of 2 to nothing. That will bring up Kaylee Kern. Kaylee Kern. Now the hitter for the Bulldogs, another right-handed hitter. And you know the best way to hit the ball is straight away. Exactly. They've got three hits right up the middle. Three up the middle. Wind and pitch. That is a strike on the outer half, thigh high. No balls in one strike. Yeah, Braylon Rule's throwing very well. But again, she's facing, I think, a better lineup than she saw on Saturday against Eaton. That lineup was good. This one is a, a notch higher. Here's the wind in the 0-1. And that's down and in. Out levels at one and one. Wenicke a couple of steps off of first. 
Grace George Hughes got a strong throwing arm. It's not going to be that easy to take off on her. One ball and one strike, one out. And it's two to nothing here in the bottom of the first inning. And the offering. And the changeup is low. Ball two, strike one to Kaylee Kern. Yeah, I don't know if all of, is that a requirement? No, it's not a requirement. Not all the B-diggers are wearing that face mask. They do that on the infield, the pitch. And that is off the plate. Throw back to first back in standing is Wenicky. And the count is at ball three, strike one. You know, honestly, Zarn, I think it's more of protection. If oh, yeah, no, no. Well, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, they wear the it in the college ranks. Yeah. And balls are hit even harder in college. And the 3-1. That is on the outside corner. Beautiful pitch. Belly high. It's 3-2. and two. She thought that was a ball and started walking. Yeah, and that was clearly on the outside corner. That was a pitcher's pitch. It's a good decision not to swing at that because you can't really do much with that. Braylon's going to try to duplicate that pitch on this one. Three and two in the offering. Swung on line foul up the left side. Way out in front was Kaylee Kern. 17th pitch thrown in the opening inning by Braylon Rule. Yeah, there's no doubt that two of the tougher games at the beginning of the season were the game Saturday against Eaton and this game right now. Resurrection Christian on Thursday got blasted by University 12 0. Wind and offering. And that rides inside. And it's a walk to Kaylee Kern. First and second, one down for Alexis Sanchez. Second left-handed hitter in this lineup. And that's the other thing. Baseball and softball, they're right-handed hitting, dominating sports. When you see two or three lefties in a lineup, you're that much more difficult to defend. Oh, yeah. And Sanchez has got speed. Squaring to bunt and lays it down out in front of the plate. George Yu has it and fires to first in time. Nice play by the beat digger catcher, the senior. Two to three in the book. The runners advance on the sack. And there's two down. I mean, that is an excellent play. Even though the ball was only bunted about a couple of feet out in front of the plate, George Yu showed her versatility behind the plate. Here is Kendry Kern. Batting from the right side. The offering in the dirt blocked by George Yu. What else do you expect? George Yu being that senior, she's a solid player and does great job behind that play. I mean, she just like we've been saying all season, she commands that position. Without a doubt. Here's the one and the 1-0, and that one is down and in. Two balls and no strikes. Two and zero oh to Kendry Kern. Two in scoring position. That's a strike down the middle. Belt high. Ball two, strike one. This would be huge if the B Diggers can keep University to these two runs. You're looking at a four nothing lead in the second. That just takes the wind out of your sails. But keep it at two nothing. There's a big hole up the middle though. I mean, there's a huge hole right up the middle of the pitch. Swung on and grounded down the third base side. Foul. Try to take that one down and in. Kiana sitting at one ball and two strikes. Premier Farm Credit understands production ag. They've been serving their rural communities for over 100 years. Sterling, Fort Morgan, Newman, Holyoke. Premier Farm Credit. And the 1-2 pitch. Swung on and popped up behind the plate. Georgiou now in fair territory. Makes the basket catch. Another outstanding play by the B digger catcher. Two runs in the inning. University picks up three hits. No errors and two. Base runners left. Let's head to the second inning. In Greeley, it is University 2, brush nothing on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. John Beltran with Evan James. Let's head to the top of the second inning. The B diggers trail the University Bulldogs 2 to nothing. From Greeley, we had a 37-minute weather delay and the pitch is outside. Five, six, and seven, Natalyn Poss. And the batter's box for Brush. And the pitch swung on and lifted foul and out of play off to the right. 
Count is leveled at one ball and one strike. And momentarily we'll have a Facebook Live looking for you. That's the goal right here. Doing this all on the fly. Well, I thought I had this solved, but need to type in something in the text apparently. One ball and one strike. And a pitch swung on and fisted foul off to the right. Count is at one and two. Here to the number five hitter, Natalyn Poss. Here we go with our live look in here momentarily. If you're on Facebook, 1010K, I saw your sports. The changeup is in the dirt. Ball two, strike two, two nothing. The lead here for University in the top of the second. We'll do this for a couple of hitters just so you get a feel of what's going on here. Swung on and grounded foul off the end of the bat on the right side. Again, 10-10 KSIR Sports on Facebook. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah, we'll keep it here for the top of the second inning. Then we'll join you a little bit later on here. The pitch, way outside. Three and two. The Bay Diggers had a base runner in the first. But Grace Georgiou was stranded. And now they got a shot here to get Poss on base. Three balls and two strikes. And the pitch. And that is low. And Natalie and Poss will walk. Way to start this top of the second inning if you're the bead diggers. And that'll send up Braylon Rule. Yeah, Rule has thrown well in this game. Even though it's just one inning deep. But again, facing a potent lineup. And the offering squaring to bunt and fouls it off the end of the bat up the first base side. No balls and one strike. And again, the, we'll give you these brief live look-ins throughout the course of the season. That's what we'll be doing here for our Brush Bee Digger softball coverage. 2 nothing University on a couple of RBI singles. The first one came from Andy Padilla. And the offering swung on and grounded foul up the third base side. It is 0-2. Here to Braylon Rule on deck is Olivia Odell, Riley Lake will hit fourth in this inning. The B-Diggers have their second base runner on already. Here against a very talented university team. Two strikes here to rule. Oh, the breeze is starting to kick up nicely. And the 0-2 pitch swung on and grounded foul down the third base side, just foul. You know, and that's what you want to do. Chop that into the ground on the left side, Evan. You know, just get that, especially the third baseman, having to field a tough hop. Yeah. Completely agree with you there, John. I mean, if you can get that right up that baseline and pass that third baseman, it's going to be a little back step for him. 0-2 pitch. Way outside on the changeup. Ball one, strike two. Pause with several steps off of first base, but... She's going to make sure that she's not too far off the bag. The Bay Diggers with an opportunity. They've got the tying run at the plate here. Early in the game, the pitch swung on and grounded. Fair, no, just foul. Oh. Coach Odo was clapping, but that barely, barely went foul. Just a little bit off to the outside of the line on the third base side. It stays at one and two. What do they say? It's also a game of inches. Yeah. Well, you All of a sudden, you get... First and second, or second and third. Now you got a shot to score in this inning. Braylon Rule with an extended at bat. One two pitch. Swung on, grounded foul again on the changeup. Well, how many pitches already here in this at bat? This is going to be number seven. Braylon Rule doing a nice job of protecting that. Make sure she doesn't. Well, she keeps trying to jam her. She might go away now. One two pitch. Swung on and lifted it down the right side. That's going to drop, but Natalie and Poss is still close to first base to throw to second. She's out by a mile for the four, so that was not good base running. She did not anticipate that would drop. So Braylon Rule is denied a hit, and that's 
part of the inexperience that the V Diggers have this season. That should have been a base hit, but it was misread. Natal and Paul's went back to first. That turns into a 3 6 force. And there's one down. And we'll have a courtesy runner here. That'll be Harley Holdren. Yep. But you see that? That could have been first and second. When you're a base runner, you have to know where your defense is at. Exactly. And that ball was clearly going to be over the first baseman, Ashlyn Knapp's head. But Poss went the other way. And by the time she was picked up, she was out on a force by about three steps. One down here for Olivia Odell. Two to nothing, University in the second. And the offering. Swing and a miss on a pitch on the outer half. It's 0-1. Well, I think Kinsley realizes now that at least what she did to Braylon Rule go away, even though Rule, it would have been a base hit, but she's 0 for 1 in the game that maybe the B-Diggers are trying to pull everything. Swing and a miss, and she opened up there. Yeah, you got to go to right field right there, 0-2. Yeah, you definitely want to go the other way on those pitches on the outer half. You try to pull that pitch, and there's too much from this right-hander who might go with a changeup now. Kayla Kingsley with an 0-2, swing and a miss up and away. And on three pitches, Odell strikes out. There's two down. That'll send up Riley Lake. See, this is a solid piece of pitching, and now the beat diggers have to adjust on that end. She was going in, 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 and now going away, away, away. Riley Lake digs in from the right side, and that is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. University has two runs on three hits. The B-Diggers are looking for their first hit. I mean, rules would normally be credited as a hit, but if somebody's out on a force, can't score it that way. 1-0. That's a beauty on the outer half again. One ball and one strike. We'll be back with you on Facebook Live around the fourth or fifth inning. We can give you brief Facebook Live look-ins as we are doing right now. And the offering, and that is on the outside corner. Boy, gorgeous pitch. One and two, and again, that's the B-Diggers have just got to adjust. Go the other way, go the other way. They know what's happening right now. One and two. And the offering, and that is just outside, two and two. And again, as soon as we get through this half inning, we'll just be exclusively with you on 10-10. These are brief live look-ins. The pitch swung on and grounded a third on a two-hopper. The throw to first is going to be low and dropped. It's going to be dropped over there. That'll be an air on the first baseman. Nap. It was low, but should have been handled over there. So the B-Diggers catch a break. They catch a break on the air by Ashland Knapp, and the inning is extended. Here's Kylie Abreu, the number nine hitter. First and second with two down in the second. Two to nothing, University of the pitch. Up and away. One ball and no strikes. On deck is Brooke Rule. She's a major threat. Give you as stable an angle as possible here with our our camera. We do have a breeze kicking up a bit. The pitch, and that changeup is low. Ball two with no strikes, and now you would think to the nine hitter, you got to throw that thing down the middle. Exactly. I mean, Abreu can hit, but when you're the nine hitter, you don't want to just fool around with that hitter. You want to go right after him, and that is on the inside corner. Ball two, strike one. That's a strike to Kylie Abreu. The B-Diggers had a runner on in the first inning. Two on here in the second, looking for their first run of the game. Two balls and one strike. Kayla Kingsley. The university right-hander delivers. Swing and a miss. Oh, tremendous change up there. It's two and two. And that was, I mean, a, no deception in the motion at all. And that's the key to the change up. Keep that motion consistent. The opposing hitter is not sure what's coming. Two and two to Abreu, the offering. Swung on and lined, and that's going to be caught by the shortstop. A soft flare, and that is caught by the shortstop. 
Delaney Wenicky. And the Bee Diggers do strand two. As we are off of uh, Facebook Live here in the top of the second inning. We head to the bottom of the second inning in Greeley. The score. The University Bulldogs two. The Brush Bee Diggers nothing on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. John Beltran back with Evan James. And thanks to those tuning into our brief uh, live look in on Facebook Live. We're in the bottom of the second inning. Foul straight back. No balls and one strike. University leads Brush by a score of two to nothing. Championship game a year ago, and that one bounces in. For the right-hander, Braylon Rule, the count is even at one and one. Two runs on three hits in the opening frame for University. B Diggers trying to hold their own. They did threaten in that second, the pitch inside. I like the way Braylon is trying to work the corner. She's not giving in on any pitch, even the base hits. She's tried to work either in or away, but some pitches are going to get away from you. Exactly. Evan James is fighting the allergies right now. Yeah, that breeze kicked in. and well Swung on and lifted and caught by the shortstop, Riley Lake, a little flare. That was almost the same exact ball that was hit by Abreu to end the top of the second inning. If you're watching on Facebook Live, that's exactly what was just hit. Here to Riley Lake from the university hitter Ashlyn Knapp, and there's one down. One down for Kayla Kingsley, the opposing pitcher, the ninth place hitter. And the offering bounces in. One ball and no strikes. Fill up your cooler, gas up your car, stubs, gas and oil. Easy and convenient makes them the only stop you need on your way to the big game. Stubbs, gas, and oil. 1-0 to Kingsley. One out, and the base is empty in the bottom of the second, the offering. And that is just outside. 2-0. and Two balls and no strikes. Here to Kayla Kingsley. Again, a nine hitter. It was Kylie Abreu who was up 2-0. Swung on and grounded, and a nice stabbing play to her left by Alexis Corral on that second short hop. She throws to first for the out. Beautiful play by the senior third baseman. That was not easy. That ball was going to come up on her, but she got it on the short hop, and Kingsley is out number two. And all Coach Odell wants to see is progress from game one to game two, uh, game two to game three, I should say. And you know, John, it looks like we're uh, doing... A lot better defensively, more solid. Oh, yeah. Very yeah. nice. Here's Caden Wyatt. She singled and scored in the first. Swung on, grounded a short. Lake has it. Throw to first. It's a 1-2-3 inning for Braylon Rule. Let's head to the third inning in Greeley. The score, University 2 and the B-Diggers nothing on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. 2-0 University. Let's head to the third inning. John Beltran with Evan James and Greeley. It'll be the one, two, and three hitters for Brush. Brooke Rule, Alexis Corral, and Grace Georgiou against the right-hander Kayla Kingsley. Changeup is a beauty. Oh. Just nope. drop right in there for that strike. Perfect. Bell tie, no balls and one strike. But again, the Bee Diggers did a nice job against Sadie Ross adjusting the second time around. This is their second time around here against this pitcher, the offering. Fastball is low. One ball and one strike. University's two runs came in the first inning. Andy Padilla got them started with that RBI single. And the offering swung on line. Face hit into left field. Beyond the diving Delaney Wenicky. The ball gets loose, and a second is going to be Brooke Rule. It'll be an error on the left fielder Baca with a mishandle. And how about that? Just went right under her glove and, you know, making that mistake there, let Brooke Rule go to second base. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter for you, the defending state champions. They've committed two errors. Exactly. And the bead diggers have been flawless defensively so far. That'll send up Alexis Corral. Struck out swinging her first time up. The pitch, outside corner, strike one. And that was the difference because the pitch he threw to Braylon was middle in, and that's why she pulled it. 
I think she's trying to readopt the philosophy, Kingsley, of going away against these hitters because Brush is pulling virtually everything. The offering swung on and grounded on three hops to second, and the underhand tossed the first in time. Nice job of Alexis going the other way. Advancing the runner to third as the play was made by Kaylee Kern. That'll bring up George Yu. Well, do they pitch to George Yu, though? That's a good question. Are, are they just going to unintentionally, intentionally walk her? Because Grace is an automatic swinger here. She's going to get a good piece of the softball. You've got to throw her a changeup or something to keep her off balance. There is the changeup, but it's high. One ball and no strike. She was hit by a pitch in the first inning. The Bay Diggers trail University 2 to nothing here in the third, but Brush is threatening. And this is one of three returning starters for Brush. A home run hitter in the state championship game last year. And the offering swung on and grounded sharply foul behind third base and head coach Tom Odell. Count levels at one and one. Well, time to tell you that Wiggins Electric has been servicing the surrounding area since 1966 with complete electrical and valley center pivot installations. That's Wiggins Electric. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. Two nothing University, the pitch. Change up is low. That's the value of an experienced hitter. Watching that from here, I said she's going to swing at that. But she read it right off the hand and took that pitch. I think Kingsley expected George U to swing at that. Yeah. Now she's going to have to come in with a heater. 2-1 pitch. Outside. Yeah, you know what? I think after that foul ball, she wants nothing of this hitter. I think she wants to face Annalise Glosson, who's only a freshman, and try to deal with her. 3-1. and one. Looking at her left wrist is this pitcher. 3-1 pitch. Swung on and lifted into center field. Way back towards the fence. Gone! Oh, she threw her a meatball down the middle. And Grace Georgiou made University pay. And the Bee Diggers have tied the game at two. On a two-run blast straight away by Double G. Give her that option. What what, what does she do? I'm stunned. Wow. I I am stunned. Why? I mean, it's great for the Bee Diggers. Yes. You know... You know that if you give in to a great hitter like that, she's going to make you pay. And let me tell you, Caden White, the center fielder, was right up against, well, I don't know what you call it, the that railing, the fence, or whatever yeah. that is out there. She was right up against it, and she nearly had a play. But it just, it just sailed over the center fielder, and she's tall. Yeah. She is tall. She's much taller than that fence. Annalise Glosson now the hitter. Brand new ball game in Greeley. Deadlocked at two. And the pitch that is outside. Glosson grounded a third in the first. Yeah, that just really surprised me. So you can't give in to this hitter. She's too good. Grace is way too good. And the offering. Ooh, just missed. I'm not sure where that missed. Must have been a little bit up and away. That's one of the that's one of the few pitches, maybe the only pitch I thought that it was going to be a strike when it was a ball. I thought it was a strike too, being honest. I mean, just looking at that, but hitters count 2-0 pitch. Swung on and grounded to third. And off the third baseman, fielded by the shortstop Wenicky. And then she throws it off the foot of Annalise Glosson, but that'll be another error. That's going to be an error on Kendry Kern misplaying that ball. Two errors in the inning. And three in the game for University. Well, I will credit Brush because they came out shaky in that first inning against Eaton and then never got into rhythm. But in this game, after a two run first inning, I think the key was getting that final out. Remember, University had second and third up two to nothing. You retire that hitter on the pop to George U. I believe that was that last out there. That Riley in- Lake. In the it, it was right, that's right. And then all of a sudden, instead of a four nothing game, it was a two nothing game. And Brush has controlled the game since then. Exactly. I mean, you got your solid hitters back. We went through the lineup once, and we're here now with Annalise Glosson on first base, and uh, Natalie Poss coming up to the bat with one down. Natalie Poss was walked the first time, but unfortunately for her, was forced out at second on what should have been a base hit. 
from Braylon Rule. But the Bee Diggers do have a couple of hits in this inning. And the pitch outside but low. Outside corner but low. It's 1-0. Like a good neighbor, Greg Mullen and his team at State Farm Insurance are there to make the insurance world easy for you. 8-4-2-45-55. Deadlocked at two in the top of the third. We had a 37-minute weather delay. Swing and a miss and a ball in the dirt. Nadlin would like that pitch back. Ball one, strike one. Yeah, let's make this a nice long seven-inning game. Unless the B-Diggers bring out the sticks it can shock University in fewer innings. And the offering. Swung on, grounded a second. Could be two off the second baseman. And it deflects into left center field. And a third is gloss in the throw, the slide. And she's going to be in there as the ball gets away. And advancing to second is Poss. Unbelievable. The third error of the inning. That was right there. But misplayed by the university second baseman, Kaylee Kern. And, and the ball was just about two feet to her right and just next to the bag. It, she could have flipped it to Wenick and it would have been a 4 6 3. But she instead, just squared up on it and yeah. no, just bounced right off her. And... Well, she let the ball play her. Yep. Here's Braylon Rule hit into that fielder's choice, the pitch. Swung on and grounded foul up the third base side. This is a brand new beat digger team that has shown up in this game against the defending state champions. No balls and one strike. It's a messy inning for University. But you know what? The beat diggers have been putting the ball in play. Capitalizing. And the offering in the dirt. Remember, there's still only one out. Blocked nicely by Andy Padilla. One ball and one strike. This is 10-10 KSIR, Brush, Fort Morgan, Weldona. John Beltran with Evan James. And the offering. Swung on and grounded into left field for a base hit. Glosson scores. Paws now third in the slide. She's in there. She had to hold up. And that was in a very aggressive play out there and left trying to nail Paws. But it's an RBI single here from Braylon Rule. And the bead diggers lead 3-2. to two. Here's Olivia Odell. Olivia Odell struck out swinging. Second visit to the hill here in this third inning. And how about this for Brush? Really coming back strong and looking good now. And still only one out. Table tables. Yeah, that's it. That's it. They've turned this game around completely. But the one thing I didn't expect, that we do have a new pitcher. Let's see if we get the number, the number five for this new pitcher. It's going to be Kaylee Kern. Let's see if Kingsley then goes to second. Let's see if that's the case. No, it looks like Kingsley's at first. Ashlyn Knapp will be at second. So that's where we sit here in the top of the third inning. But you know what? It's really not the pitcher's fault. Yeah. I mean, this happened to Braylon Rule on Saturday. The defensive support wasn't there. And now not there for Kayla Kingsley here in the third inning. And the result is a 3-2 to two B-Digger lead. With first and third and one out. Coach Odell talking to Olivia Odell. And you said there's one more. Yep. Yep, there sure is. I mean, I think Percy's either in eighth grade or seventh grade. I'm not quite sure, but he's definitely moving up in the world. <laughs> Absolutely. Righty against righty. At third is Natalie Poss. Braylon Rule is at first. Brush with a 3-2 to two lead in the third here in Greeley. And the pitch. And that is outside. Check swing. I don't think she went. And looking for the appeal, but no swing. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, this is a little bit of a stunning turnaround considering University looked really good in the first two innings. But Brush is just putting the ball in play. 
The right-hander delivers. Swing and a miss. Runner goes to second to throw back to the pitcher. And Paul's not far off third, even though Coach Oda wanted to make sure that was the case. Two in scoring position. One ball and one strike to the seventh place hitter, Olivia Odell. 0 for 1 in the game. The pitch swung on and lifted into shallow right field. Coming on, making the grab is Sanchez. Runner's going to tag, but Poss is going to have to go back to third. Yeah, she'd have been out there. Solid throw out there by Sanchez. There's two down. Yeah, that ball didn't have enough distance. Well, the bee diggers don't want to strand these two. It'll be up to Riley Lake. She reached on the air on the drop ball by the first baseman, Knapp, at the time. She is now the hitter. And Kern delivers. And that one's to the screen, but no way Paws can score. There's only, what, maybe 10 feet, 15 at the most, between the catcher and the backstop. There's not too much area there, Evan. That would be an easy grab, and... Then she'd be out. Yeah, I mean, even if you had major speed at third, that would be a, a monumental effort to be safe at home. Yeah. 1-0. and oh. Kaylee Kern delivers. Swung on and fouled off the end of the bat. Out in front there was Riley Lake. And you know what? Being out in front, that can set you up for the opposing pitcher to throw a changeup because she's so overly aggressive right now. Riley's got to keep those hands back. 1-1. One, one. There's the changeup down and in. 2-1. and one. Yeah, Lake almost hit by the pitch on deck is Kylie Abreu. Riley did pull the ball last time. 2-1 pitch. That's a fastball upstairs. Ball three strike one. Abreu would hit with the bases loaded if Lake is given the base on ball. Long top of the third inning, the Bee Diggers with a 3-2 to two lead. The pitch swung on and lifted to right field. Sanchez comes in, makes the grab. Nice job of Lake going the other way, but it does not produce a fourth run in the inning. The Bee Diggers put together three runs on three hits. There were three university errors and two left on base, both in scoring position. Two and one half innings have been played in Greeley. The score, University 3, Brush 2. Check that, Brush 3, University 2 on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. We've hit the bottom of the hour. The Bee Diggers lead University 3-2 to two in this softball classic so far here from Greeley. Brush scored three runs in the top of the third inning, and Braylon Rule getting ready to throw the first pitch at the bottom of the third, and that is just inside. Man, that barely missed. Good pitch there to the left-handed hitting, Caitlin Baca. She bunted, and Grace George, you threw her out in the first pitch. Change up is in the dirt, 2-0. and oh. Dangerous part of the lineup for University, the two, three, and four hitters. You just want to make them hit the softball. Both teams have three hits. The pitch, strike. Down the middle, belt high. Ball two, strike one. Here to Caitlin Baca. University scored twice in the first inning. The beat diggers just countered with three in the third. The left-handed hitter awaits the 2-1. Inside, just missed. Well, there's trouble brewing there if you get her on base. She's got a lot of speed. And so does Andy Padilla on deck. Small but fast. Oh, yeah. 3-1. Swung on and lifted down the left side. Foul. That didn't have much trajectory. It jammed her. And barely got in the air. And then a twisted foul between home and third. Boy, this is a huge pitch coming up for the sophomore Braylon Rule. Because it's the first hitter of the third inning. If you're wondering how we only in the third inning, we had a 37-minute weather delay here in Greeley. 3-2. 
Swung on and driven in the air to center field. A routine play for Brooke Rule. And the senior makes the one-handed grab. There's one down. Again, when I talked about Brooke Rule last week, body language. A lot of confidence out there. One she just seems at ease. Oh, that's it. The game slows down for you. That was a fly ball. She treated that like nothing. It's right there to me. Just like in practice. Just like in practice. Here's Andy Padilla, the RBI single. She had in the first inning was the first run of the game, and that's in the dirt. And watch out here. Braylon Rules retired five in a row. So she's getting on a roll. One ball and no strikes. Platte Valley was Brush's first opponent, 17-1. to Then they lost to Eaton, 18-2. to But the Bee Diggers have rebounded nicely in this game. 1-0 pitch outside. Well, she falls behind 2-0 to the second straight hitter. And you know she's going to come in with one now. Two balls and no strikes. To Andy Padilla, the pitch inside. 3-0, and and Delaney Wenicky, the power-hitting shortstop, is on deck. Well, maybe this is my fault. I said that she was on a roll here, and she is, but now you're behind in the count. 3-0 and to this hitter. And actually, she's retired six in a row, and then she bounces that one in a four-pitch walk. And watch out, because Wenicky singled in a run. In the first, she's now at the plate. And it's very difficult in softball to turn a double play. Yeah. I mean, the field is so short. Callie Jones, now the courtesy runner for University. Yeah, you're just looking at individual outs here. If you can get somebody like Wenicky to get underneath the ball a little bit, not too much. Well, actually, maybe too much because then you pop it up at the very least to an outfielder. Yeah. Because Grace Georgiou, her home run, she didn't get all of it. She got a lot of it, but not all of it. But just enough to leave the yard. And the pitch, change up, up and away. One ball and no strikes, five consecutive balls thrown by Braylon Rule. In fact, in this inning, seven balls and two strikes. Needs to reestablish the strike zone. Braylon, the sophomore, looks in and the 1-0. Swung on and grounded a second and a dive by Carrera, base hit. Advancing the third as Padilla, the throw, is gonna go off the shortstop, Lakes Glove, and then the hitter advances to second. Throw that in there. Well, over through the second base. Yeah, I mean, it's an overthrow there. And again, these are things you cannot do. You give extra bases. And if you saw what happened with Carrera there, she was shifting over to her right. If she stays where she's put when the ball's hit, she makes the play. Yeah. But I think she was anticipating a stolen base. Up and away here to Kaylee Kern, who walked. Yeah, it's a game of positioning. One ball and no strikes. Now the B-Diggers are playing the infield in, trying to prevent the tying run from scoring. And the 1-0 pitch, low. Ball two to Kaylee Kern. A one-out walk. And then that base hit, Wenicke is now two for two. University looking to reclaim the lead. Upstairs, yeah, Braylon Rules lost the strike zone in this inning. That's 10 balls in this inning and only three strikes. 47 pitches she's thrown in the game. And 3-0 and to Kaylee Kern. On deck is Alexis Sanchez. The pitch. Upstairs, it's a walk. Bases loaded. Well, how about a grounder back to the pitcher? That'd be nice. Then you go to the plate, you get a little 1-2-3 double play. Again, not easy to turn a double play, but the easiest one would be a 1-2-3. 
So here he is, Sanchez. Here she is, I should say, had the sack bunt. Her first time up. The infield is still in. Trying to cut off that run at the plate. Brush leads University 3-2, to two, bottom three. The pitch down and away. Coach Odell is about to step out of that dugout. If his pitcher continues to struggle. One ball and no strikes. Braylon Rule needs to throw a strike here. 1-0. Upstairs, throw to third. Back in diving is Jones. 2-0. Now there's no defense against these walks. Two balls and no strikes. 3-2 brush, but that lead is in jeopardy. In tremendous jeopardy right now. University's only put the ball in play once in this inning. Well, actually twice. The other was an out the pitch. Swung on line. Base hit left center field. That'll score run. Wenicky is around third. She's going to score. The throw to third and safe. And it's going to be a single and to second. On the throw to third is Alexis Sanchez. A two-run single. University leads 4-3. to three. Yeah, you fall behind. It's just very difficult to come back on these hitters. Kendry Kern popped out her first time up. Looking at that outfield, uh, Natalie Poss kind of tried to scoop that up and just didn't get it quite yet. Well, yeah, it took a little tricky hop. She was trying to get the runner at third. The pitch, strike. Down the middle, it's 0-1. Brayden is thinking, where was that pitch? He slams the ball right into her glove. I think she's frustrated that she lost the strike zone there for a few batters. And Alexis Sanchez made her pay. 0-1. Swing and a miss. What a gorgeous changeup. If she can somehow pull out a strikeout here with one out in the third, that would be huge considering the two runners are in scoring position for University, which trailed going into this half inning and now leads 4-3. No balls and two strikes. She might try to pull the string again or go up and away. The pitch, up and away. Ball one. One and two to Kendry Kern. Big situation for the Bee Diggers defensively. At third is Kaylee Kern. Sanchez at second, the pitch swung on, grounded slowly to third. Corral looks at third, throws to first, in time, throw home the slide, and safe. Good play there by Corral, but very good base running there by Kaylee Kern. University leads 5-3, to three, no RBI, because she did not take off on the contact. She took off on the throw. Meanwhile, the trail runner, Sanchez, advances to third. Ashlyn Knapp popped a shorter first time up. It's a three-run inning for University, which leads 5-3. to three. And the pitch, strike down the middle belt high. No balls and one strike. Eighth hitter in this lineup for the Bulldogs. Keep this at 5-3. to three. You're in good shape after this. Bounces in. Nice stab there by George U. Count levels at one and one. Feels like we've been here half the day. Yeah, with that rain delay. Got here at three. It's 540. One ball, one strike, one on, two down, three across. Four University. The pitch is upstairs. Two and one. Yeah, you're just waiting for Brush to put everything together. Yeah. They've had defense in this game, some timely hitting. Had some good pitching until this inning when Braylon struggled to find the zone. Two one pitch. Swung on and fouled off to the right. Well out of play. Two and two to this university hitter. Braylon Rule looking to get the out here on Ashland Knapp with Kayla Kingsley on deck. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch 
Swung on, grounded slowly to third. Corral's got it, sets, throws to first. Inning over. But University does capitalize. The Bulldogs score three runs on two hits. There was one error and a base runner left at third. Three complete. University five, brush three on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. James and John, that's Evan and Beltran back with you here in Greeley. Five to three, University leads brush. What do you think of this game so far? Well, it's turning out to be a lot, a lot better than uh, the years, or not the years, but the, the game before. Well, well be it might as well have been years ago because <laughs> the bee diggers want to forget about Saturday's game, but, and they have. They've moved on here nicely. Yeah. 9-1-2, and two, Kylie Abreu against Kaylee Kern to begin the fourth inning. The pitch up and away. A flare to short. Her first time up. University has got five hits in the game. B Diggers have three hits. The pitch, fastball inside corner for a strike. One and one. The surprise in this game is that University has committed four errors. The B Diggers have one. And the one one. Change up bounces in. Ball two, strike one. And the fourth inning in Greeley. Overcast skies, but no threat of rain. We had a 37 minute lightning delay. 2 1. Ball nearly hit her. Yeah, I'm not sure where Kern falls on the pitching chain. 3 and 1. And again, if you're a university, you don't want to walk the number nine hitter. But Kylie's a big, strong hitter. She's going to be aggressive with their 3-1. Whew. Uh, that one is so far outside, I can't even tell you. That was probably, I'd say, two feet behind a left-handed hitter. And Kylie hits righty. So it's a walk. Here's a dangerous Brook rule. Grounded out and singled at the first base hit for the B-Diggers. That came... In the three-run third. The senior awaits the pitch. Strike inside corner at the knees. On that tailing heater, it's 0-1. No balls and one strike. And she looks at her left wrist. Does this pitcher to see what she's going to throw. 0-1. Squaring to bunt. Lays it down. And it's picked up. The throw to first is going to be late. And now taking off her third. Abreu the slide. And she's out. I'm not sure why she did that. Tom Odell's not happy. Tom Odell is not happy. He is. I think that was just too over aggressive. It's a base hit for Brooke Rule. But to take two bases on that. And Abreu was nailed at third base. That's going to go one to three to five. I didn't understand that at all. Like you said, John, just getting a little little too aggressive with that. And got yeah, that, that surprised me. That surprised me. A base hit on the bunt. But way, way too aggressive there. Trying to take two bases on a bunt. I mean, you've got to be really fast to get away with that. Here is Alexis Corral. I guess you applaud the beat diggers for being aggressive, but you don't want to make the first out at third base, and the fastball is outside. 1-0. And again, we've had two significant base running mistakes by Brush in this game. And every out counts so much against these uh, these Bulldogs. 1-0, down and in. 2-0, Corral struck out and grounded out. Grounded to second when she went the other way after a Brook Rule base hit earlier. The offering... Outside, throw back to first, back in diving is Brooke Rule. 3-0. and oh, Who's up next? George U. I'm telling you. Uh, they give her one more. and Kaylee Kern's going to want to come in with a pitch here. And the offering. Upstairs, it's a walk. First and second, one out. Imagine if you didn't have the aggressive base running there, would have been bases loaded, nobody out. 
Western Engineering Consultants, engineering and consulting services for all of your projects. Strong commitment to their clients' needs sets them apart. Get your project started the right way. Western Engineering Consultants. George U was hit by a pitch and Homer a two-run shot in the third. First and second, one out in the fourth. The offering, and she swings and lines it into right center field for a base hit. That ball's headed all the way towards the fence. A run is going to score, and a third is Corral. The ball gets through the infield. It's a double for George U, who's now two for two with three runs batted in. And the Bee Diggers now trail University five to four in the top of the fourth inning. You know, John, just looking at that reminds me of baseball season with Braxton Shelton. Yeah, I mean, you find a gap, you go the other way. He, they know what they're doing. Oh, yeah. 100%. I mean, at that time, I will credit this pitcher. Um, Kern, she tried to come in on Grace. Yeah. But Grace is such a good hitter. She just took that inside-out swing and drilled it. I mean, it's it's very difficult to get her out. That's pretty obvious. Look what she did a year ago as a junior. And that's why, if you're a university, you can't walk the hitter in front. Alexis Corral is a really, really good hitter. But Grace will probably, by season's end, lead this team in hitting, along with along with Brooke Rule, excellent hitter as well. Let's see what other B diggers come along. Here is Gloss in the pitch. Fastball, a strike on the outside corner, thigh high. And it's 0-1-1. Gloss and grounded out. And reached on an air. Both balls were hit to third base. You want to hit it to the right side. You don't want to hit it to the left side here with runners at second and third. You want to pull this pitch. 0-1. Inside. Nearly hit her. One ball and one strike. And she's got a very unusual stance. Yeah. She has a very close stance where the front foot is closer to the plate and that back foot is almost out of the box. It's in the back of the box. She's right in that corner. That's a very close stance. The pitch down and away. Kind of walked into that one. Ball two, strike one. Uh, are we looking at 8 o'clock instead of you know, 7.30? It's a long game, man. It is. sure is. Ball two, strike one. Five to four, University. Top of the fourth inning. John Beltran with Evan James here in Greedy. The pitch. Swing and a miss. You took a big hack at that. We'll have a Facebook Live segment coming up in the top of the fifth. Sometime in the top of the fifth. I love being blocked by somebody who doesn't realize that we're here at the game. <laughs> and the offering. Upstairs, off the glove. Here comes Corral to the plate, and she's going to slide in safely. On the wild pitch, the beat diggers have tied the game at five. George U goes into third. Back and forth. University was up 2 nothing. Rush went up 3-2, to two, University up 5-3. to three. Now the B-Diggers have tied it. Critical pitch here to Annalise Glosson. B-Diggers battling this one out. Three balls and two strikes with one out and a runner at third in the fourth inning. Infield is playing in at the corners. The pitch low, just below the knees. That's a great take there by Glosson. And it's a walk. Here's Natalyn Poss. Natalyn has walked, and she hit that grounder to second that was misplayed. And she was able to get on base. Any contact here on the ground, she'd score a run. And the pitch, low. She's being extended this inning is Kaylee Kern. One ball and no strike. She came in for the starter, Kayla Kingsley, who's now at first base. What a ball game so far here from Greeley. The pitch swung on line foul off to the right. And you know, John, one thing I've noticed about these uh, pitchers here from university, they all have the armbands like you would a football. Right. Um, usually as plays and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Smart, smart incorporating that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, one ball and one strike. First and third, two across for the beat diggers here in the fourth inning. Here's the wind and pitch. Swung on and fouled off the catcher. Count now sitting at one and two. One ball and two strikes. 
Got to make contact here if you're Natalie and Poss. Boy, we haven't had a quick half inning in a while. Yeah. I think since the bead diggers got one, two, three in the second. Be the the second one. inning was by far the quickest. Yeah. Critical pitch coming up here to Poss. Here it is. Swung on, grounded. Oh, just foul down the first base side. Oh, that was close. On that one, two. What a great idea to go the other way. It remains at one ball and two strikes. Again, the go-ahead run is sitting at third base, is standing at third base, and Grace George U, the pitch outside. Count is at two and two. Braylon Rule is on deck. The Bay Diggers and Bulldogs deadlocked at five. Padilla lays down the sign. 2-2. Swing and a foul to the screen. Came up and in on Poss. And if you notice, Natalie, she shortened that swing. She really shortened that swing because that'd get right on top of you. Real, real quick. Well, it's the only way to go there. Awaiting the 2-2. Coming back. Swing and a miss and a fastball on the outside corner. Brought the heat there. Paul strikes out. Two down. Well, Braylon Rule could have been two for two. Hit that fielder's choice. And then singled. So it's a good hitter to have up there. Here in this fourth inning. B diggers do have two across. One of them scored in a wild pitch. The offering way outside. One ball and no strikes. To Braylon Rule. Looking for a big hit here to give Brush the lead. And the offering. Low. Back to third. The throw is going to skip off the third baseman. George Hughes headed to the plate. She's going to score. The air is going to be on the catcher, Padilla. Trying to nail George Hughes, and the Bee Diggers lead 6 to 5. Fifth air of the game by University. And while she was coming home, Annalise Glosson takes off to second and gets there. So we got another runner in scoring position. Good base running on both ends. Yeah. Braylon rule up there with a 2-0 count. The pitch. Upstairs, 3-0. Well, this game minus the delay is at an hour and 15 minutes. And we're not even halfway through. Three balls and no strikes. The pitch way outside. Gloss takes off for third. He goes to the screen. Wild pitch as runners at first and third again. Olivia Odell struck out and popped out. Well, you can tell University is really rusty. And I think, you know what? I think they suffered for the same thing the Bee Diggers did after their win, an easy one over Platte Valley. Brush was rusty in the second game. Brush is earning their stripes here, but University is helping them with the five errors. And after they beat Resurrection 12 nothing, that was too easy. Way outside. Stolen base for Braylon Rule. You know, looking at a team uh, like Platte Valley that's young and not as experienced, you're obviously going to get that easy win. But... Uh, you hit a team like Eaton, and very solid team, and you have to earn that. So Yeah, oh, absolutely. Wind and pitch. Swung on and fisted foul off to the right. Count is sitting at one and one. Long inning here for Brush, which is a good one because they're in the dugout. They lead six to five, two in scoring position. Can Odell deliver and extend the lead, the pitch? A strike. That's a high strike at that. Ooh, they got the top of the zone. One and two. Glosson at third. Rule at second. One ball, two strikes to Olivia Odell. The offering. Swing and a miss. That one was above the letters. Two strikeouts in the inning for Kaylee Kern. 
but the Bee Diggers have reclaimed the lead. Three runs on two hits for Brush. There was one error and two men left. Two women left. <laughs> Sorry about that. Got it. Got it. Used to saying that, huh, John? Three and one half innings are complete. You're right about that, Evan. The score: Brush six, University five on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Nine one and two here for University in the bottom of the fourth inning. Approaching the top of the hour, this is 10-10 KSIR Brush, Fort Morgan, Otis. John Beltran with Evan James. The Bay Diggers with a 6-5 lead. Kayla Kingsley's 0 for 1. In the dirt with a pitch from Braylon Rule. One ball and no strikes on Kayla Kingsley. Got to get this first out and build from there. The pitch swung on and grounded a short. And Lake has it, throws to first, and that's going to be in time. Boy, that was a bang bang play at first. I'll I'll be honest with with that one. I uh, it was close. Is that her still out there? Let's see, they're one down. No, that's I think that's a different shortstop out there. Yep, Riley's at second. Check that. Let's see. It looks like Brooke Rule is a yeah. That is Brooke Rule at short. Thank you very much. Brooke Rule is the shortstop. Is that Carly Tatalini on the outfield? The pitch might be a little bit low. One ball and no strikes. Here to Caden Wyatt, singled and grounded out. Yeah, we'll check the realignment here for Brush defensively. Everything else is the same in the infield, and that's upstairs, as you mentioned, Riley Lake at second. 2-0. and Yeah, so somebody had to have come off the bench. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, I think Brush got the first out of the previous inning, and then that's when it fell apart here for Braylon. She walked a hitter, then a base hit, walked another hitter, 2-0 pitch. Swung on line. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. Somebody better chase that down quickly. The ball's retrieved. The throw back towards second. It's a sliding double. A sliding one-out double for Caden Wyatt, her second hit of the game. And University's got a runner in scoring position. Yeah, I got to tell you, I don't know if you can see from here who flagged that down in center. Because there's definitely a new center fielder in there. That I'm almost certain that's Carly Tennant. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Carly's in center. Here is Caitlin Baca. Grounded out on that, on that bunt. And then she flew to center when Brooke Rule was occupying the position. The pitch, squaring to bunt, lays it down foul behind the plate to the screen. No balls and one strike. Your friendly local community bank serving Wiggins and the surrounding areas. High Plains Bank, find out more. Highplainsbank.com. No balls and one strike. To Caitlin Baca, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Holy mahungus. That is a string puller. She took that one step, that swing. Uh, lefty. Yeah. Lefty walk. It was that uh, walking swing, and the ball wasn't there yet. She still swung. What a great pitch there by Braylon Rule. 0 and 2 with a runner at second. And the offering. Swing and a foul. Pulled the string again, but that time, keeping the hands back, was Baca. 6 to 5 brush, bottom of the fourth inning in a rematch of the state championship game, and, and University brought back every starter but one. The B-Diggers graduated, I believe, six starters. But they have played really well in this game, much better defensively than the Bulldogs. And the 0-2, swung on line, foul off to the left. Remains at no balls and two strikes. Yeah, I think we're looking at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Earliest. But you know what? If we're going to get home later, it might as well be a classic we're seeing right now. 0-2. Outside. Ball one, strike two to Caitlin Baca. 
Now looking at the beat diggers now from Saturday, we're looking a lot better. One ball and two strikes here, and I'm not sure what we have. The umpire is discussing something. I don't know if that was with a batter and the, and the head coach, Coach Hutton over there. Either way, back in. One ball and two strikes. Runner at second, one out, bottom of the fourth inning. The Bee Diggers with a one-run lead here in Greeley. The pitch swung on line into right field and caught by Odo. Throw to second, double play. Well off the bag. Almost at third base was Caden Wyatt, and she was doubled up. Nine to six double play. And a base running mistake by University, and the Bee Diggers take advantage. No runs in the inning. Nobody stranded. Let's head to the fifth inning. In Greeley, in one minute, the score, the Beat Digger 6, the University Bulldogs 5 on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. John Beltran back with Evan James in Greeley. The Beat Diggers are holding a 6-5 to five lead. As we head to this fifth inning, And the pitcher, Kendry Kern, delivers to Riley Lake, who is 0 for 2, up and away. One ball and no strikes. We will have another live look in here momentarily. We'll do it a couple of batters in. We have a visit to the hill. Somebody hurt themselves. Did the pitcher? I think Kern might have hurt herself. What do you think there, Evan? I think it has something to do with her hip, the way that she's... Yeah. Was it the way she landed? I don't know. There's a brief visit out there, but yeah, she's going to another warm-up pitch. She looks all right now. Yeah. I think it's just the way she landed. Yeah. On that one pitch. Sometimes that's just a temporary twitch. Yeah. So here we go. One ball and no strikes. To Riley Lake to begin the fifth inning. Bead Diggers have trailed twice in the game. Fastball right down the middle of the count is leveled at one and one. University with two runs in the first. And three in the third. The Bead Diggers, three in the third, three in the fourth, looking for some in the fifth. Swung on and grounded a second to her right. The throw to first in time as Ashlyn Knapp retires Riley Lake. One down for Kylie Abreu. We'll do a live look in here, starting with the next hitter. And then hopefully another, we plan to do another in the seventh. The pitch bounces in and bounces behind Abreu, who popped the short and walked. But I tell you what, for a nine hitter, and she wears the number nine, <laughs> she's got a lot of presence up there. Yeah. I mean, that's what you have from a defending state runner-up in Brush, even if you're not a starter from a year ago. You're familiar with the program. 1-0 pitch. Strike on the inside corner with that tailing pitch. One ball and one strike. One out and the base is empty in the fifth inning. John Beltran along with Evan James. Down and in. Two and one. Once Brooke Rule gets up there, the next hitter will have our brief Facebook Live look in here in the fifth inning. We've already got one on our 1010K SIR Sports Facebook page for the second, the offering. And that hitter on the left leg, hit by the pitch, was Kylie Abreu. Second time she's been hit, and watch out because Brooke Rule is two for three. Oh, that got around the knee, I think. Well, maybe above the knee. I think right in the thigh area. Yeah. Well, wow. if you're going to get hit, that's a good spot to get hit. Yep. <laughs> so here is Brooke Rule. All right, for our radio listeners, we're on Facebook Live right now for a few hitters here on the top of the fifth inning. The Bee Diggers lead 6-5, to five, the pitch up and away. One ball and no strikes. Well... Yeah, apparently we lost our feed there. We'll try to get that back. We'll try to get that back. The offering. 
Swung on and lined and over the second baseman. But at first base was Abreu. She's thrown out easily. She went back to first, and that was almost caught at second by Knapp over there. So you really can't. Yeah, you really can't. That's a tough one to judge. It'll be a force out, 9-6. to So it denies rule of hit, but that's a tough one to judge. Yeah. Really tough to judge because I thought she was going to catch it. Two down. Well, we'll save the Facebook Live. Apparently we had a signal issue there, but we'll have another one. We will work our way towards another one. Alexis Corral up there, 0 for 2. Struck out, grounded out, and walked. Now, hopefully this is a real tight game in the 7th. Then we get a Facebook Live up there in the bottom of the 7th with the B-Diggers having a chance to win. Fastball upstairs, runner going to second, safe. Easy stolen base for Brooke Rule. Now the ball gets away, throw to third, and safe as well. It'll be a steal and an error. Well, it's another error for a university. That's six in the game to brush is one. And keep in mind, Evan, Brush has left seven on base. University's left only three. Swung on and grounded a second. An easy play, low throw to first. But Knapp retires Alexis Corral on a 2-0 pitch, and the B-Diggers are denied in the inning. No runs, no hits, a university air, and the B-Diggers have stranded eight through five innings. Four and a half innings are complete in Greeley. One heck of a softball game is going on. The score, Brush six. University 5 on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's head to the bottom of the fifth inning in Greeley. The Bee Diggers hold on to a slim 6-5 to five lead over University. They send up the heart of the order. 3-4-5, and five, Andy Padilla, Delaney Wenicky, and Kylie Kern against this right-hander for Brush. Braylon Rule, the pitches in the dirt. Pitch number 72 for Rule, one ball and no strikes, a single and a walk. For Padilla, her single drove in the first run of the game. It's two to nothing University, three to two brush, five to three University, now six to five in favor of the Bee Diggers. A huge hitter to retire here in the fifth inning. The offering. Swung on and grounded left side. It's a base hit into left field beyond the diving Brook Rule. And that was a changeup. She was out in front of that pitch and didn't hit it hard. But it's about placement. Yeah, just cut that gap. Well, look at the way the fifth inning ended. The uh, fourth inning ended that line drive that was hit like a bullet in right field, and Olivia Odell made a nice play and doubled up the runner at second. Yeah. But here is major trouble for the bead diggers. Delaney Wenicky is two for two. And she's got an RBI. Very difficult to get out. She might be the equivalent offensively of George Hugh, a brush. Both homered in the state championship game in 2019, won by University 8-4. to Even though the B-Diggers won the regular season series two games to nothing, including that 14-13 to victory in brush on Allie Christensen's walk-off. So here we go. Runner at first. And nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth inning. The pitch. Swung on, driven deep to left field, and that is going to be gone. Way out of here, just to the left of the scoreboard. In left field, a two-run homer for Wenicke, and University has reclaimed the lead at 7-6. to six. That was a no-doubter, Evan. Yeah. Morgan Community College is... In Morgan County, to make your dreams become a reality for both traditional and non-traditional students, check them out at morgancc.edu. Again, it's it's tough. She's so good. Kaylee Kern has walked twice. Two very good softball teams out on this field. The pitch swung on, popped up. Right side, first baseman Abreu is going to make the grab along the first base line. And there's one out. One down for Alexis Sanchez. A sack bunt and a single. Goes by Lexi, apparently. Yeah. 
Yeah. My first name is John. I go by John. <laughs> Although people call me other things that I cannot mention the pitch. Swung on, grounded, right side off of Abreu, and that's going to ricochet into right field. Well, she went to her right. We'll call it a hit, but it, it's a, could have easily been scored in there, but we'll call it a hit. That was a tough play to her right. Had it kind of. Well, she tried to she tried to basket field it, and you got to get it. You got to backhand yeah. that ball. You're not going to get in front of that one. That's the only reason we call that a hit because it was really going to be a tough backhanded play. Kendry Kern is 0 for 2. The offering squaring to bunt takes it outside. One ball and no strikes. Rockies will be coming up thereafter against the Diamondbacks. First pitch at 740. So we'll have a short post game. But we're nowhere near the end of this game, the way it's going. Teams battling back and forth, 7-6, to six, one out, bottom five, University in the lead. The offering swung on and hit in the air into shallow center field, coming on and making the catch is Tatalini. Back to first to Sanchez, two down. All right, two down for Ashlyn Knapp. And you want to get this hitter. She's the eight hitter. You start the sixth with a nine hitter. Knapp has hit it to the left side twice. Popped the short, grounded to the third baseman, Corral. Keep it at 7-6, to six and you're in good shape of your brush. The offering swung on and lifted into shallow center field. That's going to drop for a base hit, throw to second, and the ball gets through, backed up by Abreu. No further advance. A single for Knapp. And let's check out the hit totals right now. University has 10 hits in the game, and the Bee Diggers have five. But Brush has had more opportunities. They've stranded eight runners. University stranded only three. Yeah. So they, the University has done a better job percentage-wise. Kayla Kingsley is the hitter, the number nine hitter. She's grounded out twice to short and to third. Any base at this point, the offering. Swing and a miss on a changeup. On the outside corner, it's 0-1. 7-6 University in the bottom of the fifth inning. That was an aggressive swing on a pitch that was probably off the plate. No balls and one strike. And the B-Diggers get this final out without allowing another run. And the offering, and that is just below the knees. Good spot on the outer half. Ball one, strike one. We're going to go over two hours in this softball game, without a doubt. That's what you get from these teams that are not going away. The pitch swung on and fouled off to the right. Way out of play. Ball one, strike two. Talk about a critical pitch right now. Going to be a critical one right now. Well, now we've seen the importance of defense. Yeah. In these last two games on both the brush side on Saturday, the university side today, you don't have it. Other teams stay in the game. The pitch upstairs. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on, two across in the bottom of the fifth inning. At second is Sanchez. Nap at first. Plenty of speed on the bases for university. The bead diggers hope that speed does not come into play right now. Braylon Rule toes the rubber. And the pitch swung on and lifted in the air to center field. To her left is Tatalini. Makes the running catch. And that does it for University in the bottom of the fifth inning. But they get a two-run homer from Delaney Wenicky. We head to the sixth, and we'll do it in one minute with the score. University, seven. The Bee Digger, six on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Grace Georgiou will lead off here for Brush in the top of the sixth inning. University with a 7-6 to six lead, and they're going to walk her intentionally with nobody on the first hitter of the inning has walked intentionally. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, that's a good play. That is? That's a good play. I mean, I know Brush doesn't like it. She just poses a big old threat. <laughs> well, but keep in mind, she's got a double. Hit by pitch and a two-run homer. 
Here's Annalise Gloss in the pitch. Outside. One ball and no strikes. The other thing with Gray, she's a good base runner. Yeah. She knows this game really well. Ground out, reached on an air, and walked. 0 for 2 is Gloss and the freshman. And the offering. And that's down and away. 2 and 0. I mean, if you're going to walk the opening hitter without throwing a pitch, you better make sure you throw strikes to the other hitters. Yeah. Not the bee diggers will take advantage. 7 to 6 University in the sixth inning. They just got to go ahead. Two run homer from Wenicky. The pitch upstairs and inside. Three balls and no strikes. Natalyn Poss and Braylon Rule are waiting to hit. Three balls and no strikes. The offering. Strike one. Right down Main Street. When it comes to your future, Northeastern is miles ahead in a college that's close to home. Three balls and one strike here to Annalise Glosson. The offering. Inside corner, strike two. It's a good pitch. Yeah. Very good but pitch. it's a good take by Annalise. You know, that's not a hitter's pitch. If you're going to swing at a 3-1, you want it down the middle. That one hit the corner. Get to shorten that up a lot. 3-2 and two to Glosson. The offering. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by her on the inside corner. One down. And big, big strikeout there. Kaylee Kern was down in the count 3-0. and oh, And came right back. And, and we'll have a Facebook Live segment here in the 7th. As long as our signal holds up. The pitch. Strike down the middle to Natalyn Poss, who has walked, reached on an air by the second baseman and struck out. She's officially 0 for 2. George Hewitt first one down in the sixth inning and the offering up and away. One ball and one strike. Poss has got a lot of power. She can get into one of these. She can get George Hewitt. Maybe all the way around. The offering. Swung on line down the right field side. Foul. Good inside out swing, but just a little bit tardy. One and two. To Natalie and Poss. Again, it's seven to six University here in Greeley. In a game that was delayed 37 minutes due to lightning. Nowhere on this field, but close enough. 13 minutes into the game that had that they, delay. they had to suspend play. The pitch way outside of the backstop. It ricochets back to Padilla. Throw to second. Georgia was in there, though, on the wild pitch. All right, that's big. Because now you have a runner in scoring position. And a base hit should tie this game as long as it's in the outfield. Two balls and two strikes. To Natalie Poss. The right-hander, Kaylee Kern, delivers. Swung on and lifted and caught by the second baseman. Throw back to second double play. And Grace made a big mistake. She was way off the bag. She and knew now it the bead diggers, yeah, she knew it. She knew it. It was an easy flare and caught over there by Knapp. And it's a 4 6 double play. And the bead diggers are denied in the sixth inning. Five and one half innings have been played in Greeley. The score University 7, brush 6 on 10 10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. University looking for some insurance here in the bottom of the sixth inning. The Bay Diggers trail this game 7-6. to six, Quite a game from Greeley in a rematch of the state championship game. But undoubtedly, University It's a lot more of their players here from a year ago than the Bay Diggers do with all their graduations. Braylon Rule in the bottom of the sixth inning to face Caden Wyatt. Swung on line. Base hit. It nearly clipped the pitcher. Three for four is Caden Wyatt with a solid single to center. Hit number 11 for the Bulldogs. And Caitlin Baca is up there, and she's due. 0 for 3. In fact, it was Baca who hit that solid liner that was caught by Odell, and she doubled up wide at second. So we know she's got a, a solid bat swung on and fouled off to the left. Yeah, 
I wouldn't be surprised here if University doesn't take off at one point here to get that insurance run across up seven to six in the bottom of the sixth. After the base hit from Caden Wyatt. She's got more than 25% of her team's hits today. The pitch squaring to bunt and lays it down the third base side. Fielded by Corral. Throw to first and safe. Yep. Abreu was not on the bag. She came off the bag. Will call it a hit. Uh, it would have been a bang-bang play at first, but I'm not sure why Abreu came off that bag. Now the beat diggers have a problem. Because here is Andy Padilla, who singled twice and walked. Yeah, there's no doubt that Abreu was off the bag. But it would have been a bang-bang play at first. So that's why we scored a hit. Hit number 12 now for University. Is Padilla going to bunt? The pitch. Upstairs, one ball and no strikes. And you got to get her out because Wenicky's on deck. She gets on. Oof. This could be a tough inning for the bead diggers. You got to retire Padilla. This is the biggest hitter for them to retire right now. One ball and no strikes. The offering. Swung on, line, base hit, right field. Odell's going to field it. Runner around third wide towards the plate. It's cut off by Abreu. It's an RBI single for Andy Padilla. University now leads Brush 8-6. to six. And the trail runner... Baca advances to second. I don't know what you're going to throw Wenicke here. I have no You might clue. have to go away. Away, down and away. Because she homered to left. She's got two base hits. Callie Jones, the courtesy runner at first. I think you go away, Evan. What do you think, Coach? I, I, I think whatever makes her swing and not hit the ball. <laughs> I have um, no clue. Okay. <laughs> you know what? That's virtually impossible. <laughs> exactly. That's like saying whatever makes Grace swing and miss it. She's too good. This hitter's too good to pitch way outside. We'll go with what you said then, John. Well, <laughs> uh, you got to work the corners. If you walk her, I know there's a base open. Yeah. But a three-run homer puts this game almost out of reach. It would be 11-6. to six. You don't want that three-run homer. I mean, Delaney Wenicke can hit anywhere. Yeah. Very, very lethal hitter. The pitch swung on and fouled off to the right. Good pitch. Try to come in on that right-handed hitter. Well, she tried to come in the other time, but it got the fat part of the plate. And that two-run homer gave University the 7-6 to six lead. One inning ago. Check that. Yeah, it was one inning ago. The pitch. Behind her to the screen, and the runners advance. Did they throw to third and nearly get her? Oh, she was hit, hit by the ball. Yeah. That's got to hurt. Kaylin Baca got hit by the ball. Hopefully she's okay. Second and third. Just got nailed. Yeah. Well, I think Grace thought she had a play there but there was really no play in her in grace's defense the ball ricocheted to her very quickly so she figured hey i got a shot but not with that speed yeah so now the base runner the first of the two base runners being attended to and bach is okay out there it'll be one ball two balls and one strike on Delaney Wenicky. I can tell you one thing, John. That'll leave a mark. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure where she got hit, but now she's running that off down the left field side. Yeah, now the beat diggers just need outs. I'm not sure where they're going to get the outs from, but they need outs desperately. Two balls and one strike. The beat diggers were down by two runs early in the game. But now, this could be a lot worse here with the best hitter up for University. Delaney Wenicke, three for three in the offering. Change up is up and in. Good pitch there thrown by Rule. 
three and one. Yeah, I think if you walk the bases loaded here, it's not a nothing bad. You get current up there, you play the infield in, and you take your chances because this hitter can beat you with one swing and make it eleven to six. Three and one. Here to Wenicky, the offering, and that goes to the screen. Ricochets, but no advance, but it is a walk. George U using that athleticism to get to the ball. Well, Kaylee Kern has walked twice and popped out to the first baseman. So if you can somehow get that result, you could get a quick out here. Because this is the game for Brush. You can give up another run, but two or three more runs, and it's going to be difficult to come back, that is. And the offering. Strike right there with a changeup, knee high. One strike on Kaylee Kern. The first four have reached for University in the sixth. They played it a run. It's eight to six. Georgiou lays down the sign. Braylon Rule toes the rubber, the offering up and away. One ball and one strike. Yeah, you need something hit in the air to an infielder. Unless somehow Braylon could pick up a strikeout, but these are major contact hitters here for University. 1 1. Swung on and foul to the backstop. Ball one, strike two. On pitch number 97 from the sophomore. I think you have to pull the string. Yeah. you got to go change up. She took an aggressive swing at that. I think Braylon's going to throw a change up here. It's just my guess. The pitch. That is just outside. Wolf. She didn't throw the change up, but where did that miss? Wow. Evan, what did you think? I thought that was a strike. That was a strike. It was on the outside corner. That's a missed call there. Two balls and two strikes. That changes this at bat altogether. I don't think there's any doubt that was strike three. 2-2 pitch. Swung on line foul up the left side. Yeah, I mean, if it was outside, it was a millimeter. A hair. I mean, that's been a strike in this game. Nonetheless, you can't worry about that now. The at-bat remains alive for Kaylee Kern. 0 for 1. Two balls, two strikes, bases loaded. Nobody out bottom of the six. University 8, brush 6. And the offering. Swung on line into left center field. That's going to drop. That will score one. That is going to score two. Andy Padilla around third. She's in there. And it's a two-run single from Kaylee Kern. Wenicky to third. University has broken this open. It's 10 to 6 in the sixth. That's why that missed call third strike looms large. Alexis Sanchez with a sack bunt and two singles. Two for two. You know what University is thinking right now? They want to end this in the sixth inning. They still have to score six runs. But there's still nobody on. They scored three runs. I think they're thinking they don't want Brush to bat in the seventh. Let's see what... The B Diggers have in store. Braylon Rule just threw her 100th pitch and it was nailed for a two run single. The pitch squaring to Bunt and it nearly hit her, but she fouled it up the third base side. Oh, interesting that you would, number six hitter would Bunt first and third. You swing away, you could score another run. For a University to sacrifice an out might be doing a, a favor to the B Diggers. No balls and one strike. Approaching the two-hour mark of this game from Greeley. The pitch. Swing and a miss on a changeup. I think that's the pitch. If she could have thrown that to the previous hitter, it would have been lethal to Kaylee Kern, but instead it was... It got the fat part of the plate, and I think it was with normal velocity. But I really like Braylon Rule's changeup. It's got a nice change of pace. 0-2. Just missed outside, up and away, throw through to second. Now the runner nearly caught between third and home, and back to third base is Wenicky. Stolen base on the back end there by Kern. One ball and two strikes. Where is the hitter? I don't even see the hitter. Is she over at third over there? 
Uh, or is she back in her own dugout? Maybe in her own dugout? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it was something with a grip. Either way, you got to attend to that quickly. Yeah, I don't know if, if something happened with her grip, but you don't want to see a significant delay unless she's injured. If she's injured, you got to take her out of the game. Right now it's second and third. But I think she's going to stay in there. And I'm guessing it's an equipment issue. Yeah. Along that first base side, yeah. Yep. A proud supporter of all the area athletes, Mr. D's Ace Home Center. There to serve you with your home farm and ranch supplies, Sterling Brush and Fort Morgan. So let's resume here. One ball, two strikes, two in scoring position, three across for University. Ten to six at the bottom of the sixth inning, nobody out. That's what the bead diggers are worried about right now. Pitch by rule. Fastball is upstairs. Count levels at two and two. To Alexis Sanchez. And the pitch. Down and away. Went with a changeup. Three and two. Yep, this is getting tough now. You got to come in with a pitch. The infield is playing in on the right side. 3 2. Swung on and fouled. Good pitch down in the zone. But staying alive is Sanchez. Three balls and two strikes. The B Diggers had a couple of leads in this game. Not sizable. Three to two and six to five the pitch. Swing and a miss and a changeup. Nice job of Braylon Rule retiring this hitter. One down. Sanchez goes down. Kendry Kern is 0 for 3. She's flown to center. Popped to the catcher, grounded to third. B Diggers again with the infield in, except at short. Now coming in as rule, the pitch is a strike. On the outer half, bell tie, it's 0 and 1. This is the biggest lead for either side. Four run advantage for University. Braylon Rule with the 0 1. Swing and a miss. Pulled a string on the inner half, it's 0 and 2. How big would this be with a second strike out in the frame? No balls and two strikes. Can she put her away here? Swung on, drilled foul down the left side. Still at 0 and 2. On deck is Ashlyn Knapp. Uh, the eighth hitter, Knapp, and she was big for this team last year. She's hitting in the eight hole the pitch. Swung on and lifted foul over the digger dugout on the third base side. It remains at 0 2. She's not giving in to this hitter. I mean, they're strikes, but they're not very hittable strikes. She keeps fouling them off. At least ones that you can put in play. At third is Winnicky. Kern at second. That's Kaylee Kern. Kendry Kern at the plate. 0-2. Outside, that is off the plate. Well framed by Georgiou, but it was a ball. 1-2. and two. Braylon Rule looks in for the sign. Toes the rubber. Is she going to pull the string on the 1-2? Nope, and it hit her on the left leg. Hit batsman on a 1-2 pitch. And Ashlyn Knapp is one for three. She singled in her last at bat. And the B-Diggers are still in this game, but you cannot allow too many more runs. Yep. Just looked like she had a hole with her foot. Kind of pointed it weird. Yeah, it, was, yeah, you're right. It was a weird thing. You're right. Her landing spot was not where it normally is, and it shifted the ball right towards the hitter. 
One out and the base is loaded in the sixth. And the offering. That's right there for a strike at the knees. No balls and one strike. Nice location there. Two Kearns are on base, second and first. Delaney Wenick, who's had a monster game, is at third. George, who lays down the sign, the 0-1, up and away. Ball one, strike one. Here to Ashland Knapp. We'll go straight to the Rockies right after this. Pre-game just after 7 o'clock. The pitch swung on, grounded foul, third base side. Corral is off that line a little bit. Count moves to one and two. Yeah, you feel you have a shot if you're down only four. But beyond four, then you start wondering, can we come back? One ball, two strikes. Knapp, right-handed hitter. The pitch upstairs. Pitch number 117 for Braylon Rule. Getting her pitch count in this game. Yep, the game is at two hours and four minutes. That in, does not include the 37-minute delay, weather delay. 2-2. Two, two. That's outside. Close, but it did miss. 3-2. and two. Well, this is the pitch right now. You got to come in with it. Braylon not too happy with herself. I, I don't think she thought she was going to get that call. But you got to come in with something fat right now. 3-2 pitch. Not even close. Way outside. It's a walk. Wenicke scores on the bases loaded walk to Knapp. It's 11-6. Here comes Tom Odell. And let's see what coach is going to tell his pitcher. She might be tiring right now at this point of the game. Let's see if she's going to stay in there on the mound. She's retired Kayla Kingsley all three times. Two ground outs and a pop out. She's 0 for 3, but now you're down 5 at 11 to 6. A pep talk there by Coach Odell, just having her settle down, giving her good direction and guidance there, and I think see if Braylon responds right now. No, Tom, just just going in there saying, hey, how you doing? No. Well, that's it. That's it. Yeah. You've got to change the rhythm when you're in a, a negative rhythm. Yeah. You change the rhythm, and then you say to, to the pitcher, hey, just go out and get them. They're still in this game. It's a long shot, but they're in the game. Swung on and grounded to first. Abreu is going to step on the bag. A run scores. Two outs. Retired as Kingsley. She's 0 for 4, but picks up the RBI, and it's 12 to 6. In favor of University. Now that is number 13 for your Bulldogs, Hayden Wyatt. And here's more trouble with Caden Wyatt. Wyatt is three for four. She has drilled the ball in this game. The pitch strike on the outer half at the knees. University scored five in the inning. And they have doubled up rush right now, 12 to six. Two runners are in scoring position. No balls and one strike. The offering swung on, drilled into the right center field gap. That ball continues to roll. It's a base hit. That's four hits, two runs score. Kendry Kern and Ashland Knapp. 14-6, 14 to 6 University Well, I think we expected them to hit the ball well. Yep. And now they finally got into it. In this inning, they scored two more runs and this game's going to be over. The B-Diggers want to get that last out and bat in the 7th. Here's Caitlin Baca who is 1 for 4. And Braylon Rule delivers, swing and a miss. Nice fastball. 
Braylon still got some meat on that pitch. 123 pitches in. No balls and one strike. You know, the final score is going to look like University beat up Brush bad, but this game was a great game for five and a half innings. The pitch low and taking off for third as the ball gets away is Wyatt. One and one, and Padilla's on deck. She has not been retired today. you got to get this hitter out. One ball and one strike. That means the game-ending run is at the plate. And Caitlin Baca, the offering, up and in, nearly hit her. Going to the clay was Baca, two and one. Well, for an early season game, it was a good one. Yeah. It was a good one. I mean, Brush is still on the field, but down by eight runs now. The prospects of coming back are slim. The offering swung on and grounded a second, and Riley Lakes got it, throw to first, and that does it. For University, the Bee Diggers will have one more shot. However, in the frame for the Bulldogs. They score seven times on five hits, no errors, and a base runner left to the seventh in one minute. University 14, brush six on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. We head to the seventh inning. John Beltran with Evan James. University 14 and the Bee Diggers six. Our Buildings by Design post-game show still to come. And here we go for Brush. Braylon Rule is one for two. We'll see if our Facebook Live holds up here on 1010K SIR Sports. And the pitch is in the dirt. One ball and no strikes. Here to Braylon Rule. Top of the seventh inning. We are live right now on Facebook on 1010K SIR Sports for this top of the seventh 1-0 pitch. Ball hitter. Came inside and rule is on base. That'll send up Olivia Odo, struck out twice and popped out. Unless we're going to go with a change here. Because Coach Odo, let's see, I think he's going to make a change. And Harley Holdren. Yep. Harley Holdren will now be the hitter for Brush. With Rule on first and nobody out in the seventh. And a 14-6 to six lead for University. Well, yeah, I'm not sure what the length of the discussion is for. But that's Holdren with a bat. Coach giving Holdren a shot here. After Odell once again went 0 for 3. And a nice job so far. I mean, a really nice job in relief for Kaylee Kern. She's now the pitcher of record. Wind and pitch. Swung on line foul off to the right. No balls and one strike. Here to Harley Holder and a junior. University with a big sixth inning where they scored seven runs. No balls and one strike in the offering. Fastball is up and away. Yeah, I don't think this pitcher has the changeup that Braylon Rule does, but hey, Kern has kept it in the strike zone for the most part. One and one to Holdren. Top of the seventh inning. The pitch. Swung on line. Base hit into right field. And they're going to try to throw through to second. And safe. That was close. Very close. <laughs> I mean, that almost was called an out. But the B-Diggers have two base runners to begin the inning. Here's Riley Lake. Lake is 0 for 3. 
As she steps in now for Brush. B-Diggers not going away. Swung on and fouled off to the right. No balls and one strike. Here in the top of the seventh inning. A hit batter and a base hit by Harley Holder in her first at bat of the season. Can the B-Diggers score in the inning? The offering way outside. Count evens at one and one. Well, it looks like we'll pick up Rockies on deck, perhaps in progress. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. With a fastball right by her, it's one and two. One ball and two strikes on Riley Lake. Kylie Abreu is the on-deck hitter for Brush. University leads 14-6 in the seventh. The offering to the screen. Runners advance. On the wild pitch. Well, still nobody out, and now she's got two in scoring position. And the lights are on here in Greeley. The pitch nearly hit her. Oh, I think Coach Oda wanted her to take that on the ankles. Three and two. This could get quite interesting if she reaches. Three balls, two strikes. Kern checking her left wrist. The pitch. Upstairs. It's a walk. <laughs> wow. So no outs. Bases loaded. For Abreu. Yeah, this is insane right now. If it was only like a 10-6 to 6 game. <laughs> but those extra three or four runs really hurt Brush in the bottom of the sixth inning. Abreu in the game is 0 for 1. The offering swung on and fisted right towards us. Woohoo! No balls and one home. strike. How wild could this be if the B Diggers happen to score a few runs and get the tying run at the plate? That would be extremely wild. Well, they've got a shot. George U is a few doors down here. She's three batters away. One of the next three reach, you've got George U up there. No balls and one strike. The pitch upstairs. One and one. The bases are loaded in the seventh. The beat diggers are down by eight. The pitch. That's right there for a strike. Outer half bell tie. It's one and two. I'm exhausted. (laughs) <laughs> long game. Long, long game. But good game. We still have 13 of these to go. Yep. During the regular season. 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Above the letters, Abreu is now 0-2. She strikes out. One down. One down for Brooke Rule. Number 11, Brooke Rule. A ground out, two base hits, and a fielder's choice for the senior. And looking to put Rush back on the board. The offering, up and away. Again, one of the next two reach, you have Georgiou. And she could make it a 14-11 to 11 game. Yeah. I mean, this, again, the, the prospects of coming back are slim, but they got a shot, swing and a miss. Brooke wanted to pull that pitch, and it was on the outer half. It's one and one. One ball, one strike. Wine and offering way outside. Ball two, strike one. Two and one. And the pitch low. How about this? Three and one. Three balls and one strike. What are you thinking now, Evan? I'm thinking if George U gets up there, well, here we go. 3-1 pitch. 
Inside, it's a walk. Wow. And now the bead diggers have made this a 14 to seven game. Now batting number three, Alexis Kowal. As the run scores in Braylon Rule, here is Alexis Corral's 0 for 3. 7 o'clock Mountain Time. This is 10-10 KSIR Brush, Fort Morgan, Weldona. One out, the B Diggers down by 7 in the 7th, the pitch. Strike. Right down Main Street at 0-1 or Emerson Avenue. Well, the B Diggers don't play. No balls and one strike here to Alexis Corral, the offering. And she takes it in the dirt. Count levels at one and one. Here to Corral. Brush has not had to do much offensively in this inning. They have a base hit from Harley Holdren. Other than that, they're just patient at the plate. The pitch, up and in. Uh, I don't know if University can finish out this game with Kern on the mound. 88 pitches for her. Swung on and lifted to right. And that ball is going to be caught. No tag. And there's two down. Oh, boy. Well, well apparently... Uh, All right, it's two outs. Yeah, we've, we're trying to get back. We're on the air here, but somehow, just stick with us. Did they give her the run there? Yeah, they did. Oh, because Georgia was walked intentionally. It's 14 to eight. Well, watch us on Facebook. Yeah, the Rockies, you can hear right there. We'll get off the air here momentarily. That pitch is low. This is, I've never had this before. One ball and no strikes. Swing and a miss. And again, we know the Rockies have been activated here. But we'll keep it here. We apologize that our coverage has been compromised here on 10-10. That's a strike, one and two to Glosson. Yep, I'm trying to get into there. But unfortunately, I cannot do so the pitch down and away. Two and two. Let's turn myself up here again. I know we got two things on the air. Called strike three. University has defeated Brush 14 to eight.